Well friends, we are discussing about the process of learning and in the last class we discussed about the basic contents of, of this most important unit. Well friends, today we are to discuss a place I like to place before you for your consideration some important definitions so that you can develop your perception means you can have the sense to make your idea relating to learning very clear. Learning may be defined or we can define learning as any relatively permanent sense in behavior of living organisms which occurs as a result of experience of practice and training. In the process of learning two things have special importance one is experience another is training. Some of the important definitions of learning may be presented for better understanding of the concept before you so that you can by understanding or by observing or by realizing or by making very by making very clear relating to your own concept concerning to learning with the help of the contents let us place before you some important definitions. Kilgard defines learning as the process by which behavior is originated or changed through practice or training. Here practice or training, Kilgard has, you say, put importance on or explains as, you say, learning as the process by which behavior is, you see, behavior is originated or changed through practice or training. Blair zones and sanction coming back to days to psychologists, they explain learning as any sense of behavior which is the result of experience and which causes to face later situations differently. Let us see this third slide. Maurice L. B. means this is the psychologist and for Maurice L. B. learning is a sense in a living individual or organism which is not by his genetic inheritance. It may be by his genetic inheritance. It may be a chance in insights, behavior, perception, or motivations or a combination of these. Gosne defines learning as a change in human dispositions or capability which persists over a period of time and which is not simply accessible to process of growth. Let us see the next one. <coughs> to prong back, learning is shown by a chance in behavior as a result of experience. Dublin's C. Morse and G. M. Winko explain it should be explained, not explains. Because two names are here W. C. Morse and G. M. Winko explain learning can be defined as changing one's potential for seeing feeling or doing through experiences partly perceptual, partly intellectual, partly emotional, partly motors. All areas have been included. From all the definitions given above, means the definitions which have been given in slide number 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, it may be chunked up that, means this is our explanation, Learning is a change in behavior of the organisms, either for better or worse. We never can say that with the help of the process of learning, simply the better result will result. But there is the possibility of resulting worse to result too in human personality. Learning depends on past experience and training. These are the prerequisites in the process of learning. Learning is the development and modification of experience through experience and training. Means reviewing or re addition, rebuilding this level of experience with the help of experience. 
you see uplifting the level of the storehouse or the level of training with the help of training is learning for learning always we need experience always we have to bound to depend on training let us go back to the next slide learning is a synthesis on the organization of the old and new experiences and training resulting in a novel pattern of behavior as for the chance situation as well as the requirement of you see personal needs of the learners it is a sense that takes place through experience of practice or training changes due to growth or maturation such as increase in height or weight development of muscles etc are not to be considered as learning because all these take place as the chance of time or as the result of the impact of chance time such senses are the results of natural growth because of the chance in the natural process of time means because of the ongoing process of you say time ongoing process of growth in sense course of time let us go back to the next slide the chance for learning must be relatively permanent chance is due to lack of motivation fatigue illness brain injury etc can be treated as learning learning prepares an individual or an organism for necessary assessment and adaptation all learning more or less is purposeful and goal oriented in case there is no purpose or goal there could definitely be you say any learning let us go back to the next slide the scope of learning <coughs> is very wide once we discuss depending on the explanations of learning is the process of modification of behavior depending on the experiences as well as training a concerned person do have we see that the scope of learning is very vast and extensive on the it starts at, at the very beginning or beginning or start of our life process and it ends when the process of life ends it is a very comprehensive process which covers nearly all the domains that is cognitive means thinking affective means feeling on psychomotor means means application means scientific domain or doing domains of human behavior on behaviors of other higher class elements friends benjamin bloom he is the latest us psychologist and he has categorized human behavior in three categories one is cognitive means thinking means we can think we are able to think affective means feeling we can we can feel we do on psychomotor means doing we can depending on our thinking on feeling apply everything else for practical results on the disease our prime concern for existence as well as for changing or for bringing necessary changes towards our life parameter let us go back to the next slide learning is universal means it presents in all living organisms and it is a continuous process in all living beings and organisms of this very challenging you see universe every creation possesses learning capabilities but there are differences earlier it is a continuous and never ending process that goes from whom to tom means from part to date as for the chance requirement of life because of the chance because of the impact on every living being or organism you see the uh, impact of chance course of time learning does not include the changes in behavior on account of maturation which results because of the impact of chance course of time fatigue which happens because of you see because of physical physical pre preparedness or physical feature illness which also takes place because of many factors or drugs abuse learning may be treated as a 
as an unnatural changes of behavior means whenever natural changes can't be considered as learning because natural changes take place because of the influence of change course of time you see of her every personality of every living being and organism but it is considered or it is treated as an unnatural as an unnatural changes of behavior depending on the experience or experiences on the training or trainings of every living being of organism so friends by studying the contents of the slides your conception concerning to learning will be very clear and by going to the field of psychology we have to define learning that it is such a process with the help of which it is such a psychological process scientific process with the help of which modification of behavior depending on experience or experiences on training or trainings basically result on depending on learning we survive and we bring senses towards our life parameter and we bring senses senses towards the social parameter as well as towards all aspects of our social life we live in thank you so much the other things will be discussed in later classes thank you